If you've followed me for a while, then you know I had a very bad ankle injury two years ago. And since then, I continually receive questions about my recovery. So this video is dedicated to that. I want to share with you a few things that you can keep in mind to prevent ankle injury or to rehab from an old injury. So one thing to know is that the human foot and ankle has 28 bones, 33 joints, 112 ligaments, and 33 muscles to control all of the different movements that we are capable of doing with our ankle, our foot, and our toes. And it makes sense because as humans evolved, we weren't wearing shoes and walking on smooth paved surfaces. We didn't squeeze our feet into shoes that meant our toes got crunched together. No, we were walking barefoot over tree roots and rocks, and so our feet molded to the terrain underneath them. And now today, the ankle is one of the most common areas to get injured. And that's because it's pretty vulnerable with all of those different joints and ligaments and muscles. Plus, it's getting impacted every time you take a step. And let's face it, usually those steps are taken in shoes that have not been designed with respect for our ankle's evolution. And so the thing with any injury, even if it happened years ago, is that your body may have adapted with certain compensatory movements as you recovered. So for example, when I did a number on my ankle, it meant that the surgeons, in order to repair it, had to shorten a really thick piece of ligament called the retinaculum. Uh, in order to attach it back to my ankle. This meant that I got this tightness, plus there was a lot of pain and trauma in that area as well as I recovered. And so it was very uncomfortable for me to do what's called eversion, no, inversion, which is that movement that you can do by turning your foot inwards. Even now, I can still feel this tightness that wasn't there before. And so, as I was recovering, it was much more comfortable for me to let my ankle roll in, in order to avoid that painful tightness that I got. And so, even now, I'm trying to retrain my ankle to not roll in like this, but actually to allow my shin bone to stack directly on top of my foot, like my right foot does, <laughs> instead of rolling in. Because as you can see, this rolling inwards has an impact on the knee, and this can therefore have an impact all the way up the body. And these compensatory patterns that occur, well, they're the reason why once you ankle your injure, once you injure your ankle, <sighs> once, Unfortunately, you are more likely to injure it again. So, when you're recovering from an ankle injury, the first thing that you probably want to be able to do is just stand up on that foot again and walk on that foot again. This, of course, is just a nice, easy, forward, backward movement of that ankle. That kind of heel-toe movement that we do when we're walking. But, chances are you didn't injure your ankle while walking in the most optimal way. You probably injured your ankle when, for some reason or another, you went into some kind of funky position. And I'm sure you've had experiences where it was a bit of a close call. Maybe your ankle did go into a funny position over a curb or falling into a hole, but then everything was okay. And the reason why everything was okay was because your body took care of you. All of those many joints and tendons and muscles, they did their job of holding your body's weight in a different range of motion than perhaps what you might do when you go to the gym and you're doing your squats and you're doing your calf raises and all of these nice sort of neutral movements. So, if you've received exercises from a physiotherapist, it's probably included lots of turning around of the ankle, 
rotations to get into full range of motion of that ankle. Retraining your brain's map of all of the different positions that the foot and the toes and the ankle are capable of. But here's a few things to keep in mind, especially as you go through your recovery or to prevent an injury or to prevent another injury. As your ankle is feeling stronger, one, you want to be able to train all these different ranges of motion that you can do with your ankle, with your actual weight on it, because that's when an injury is likely to occur again, is when you're doing something funky with your weight on your foot and your ankle goes into a strange position. So a little bit of shameless self-promotion here, but if you've taken my yoga classes, then maybe you've noticed that you're doing some quite different movements with your body that you may not do anywhere else. And that's intentional because I want you to build the strength and the coordination in lots of different ranges of motion and the ankles are no different. So check out my yoga classes if you don't know where else to start, but just play around with different variations of lunges and squats and these things so that you can get your ankles used to holding your weight in these different ranges of motion. Now the second thing to look out for, especially if you've already had an ankle injury, is if when you're doing all of these movements with your ankle, is that you can really isolate those movement, movements just to your ankle because what the body tends to do, especially if there's been some previous trauma in that area, is that the brain is like, I'm not sure I like that movement. I'm not totally convinced it's safe. But your frontal cortex is telling the body to make this movement. So your brain, your body is like, well, we gotta do this movement. And that's when compensatory patterns will come up and it will make something that resembles the movement, that gets the job done, but without actually moving the part of the body that wants to move, that you want to move. And so, when, it, when, when we apply this to the ankle, what often occurs is, if you're trying to do these ankle circles, for example, maybe your toes are getting really involved, your knee is maybe getting involved, but the ankle joint itself is really glitchy and just not all that smooth in its movement. So don't worry, it's totally normal for this to happen. And actually this is seen in people who've never even had an ankle injury as well. And it can be such a good brain workout to do these kinds of movements. So try and keep the toes completely relaxed, keep the knees stable, and make the movements entirely from the ankle. And oh my gosh, I don't know if you can tell, but I still struggle here with my little left ankle. So circling around, going between inversion and eversion, making figure eights, all of these things will really help that. And by paying attention to the spots where you're struggling, then you're more aware that, okay, this is a particular area where the joint is struggling and just give it a little bit more TLC in that particular minuscule range of motion. But above all, a really simple way to help your ankles get strong is just going back to what I mentioned at the beginning of the video, walk barefoot as often as possible. Just undomesticate your feet for a bit. Lastly, my friend, remember if you are recovering from an injury of any kind, ankle or elsewhere, maybe even just a broken heart, look after yourself. Give yourself plenty of time to rest and eat well, sleep well, but also keep moving, breathe, and your body, it's gonna know what to do to heal itself. Sending you all of my love. Thank you for watching. Please make sure to subscribe. Share this with anybody you think may find it useful. Hope to see you again.